Yo, 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 what's up team? This is Arts Trading with a challenge update video. Today is 2-2-2022, and I just locked in $170 trading Costco, and I definitely paper handed it a little bit, but I just wanted to really quickly break down why I'm taking this trade, and also why I entered a swing trade on my main account. I'm holding the 520s, I believe. No, 515s for the 4th of March. I think that this thing absolutely rockets this month of February. Main reason as to why I'm taking this trade in the first place and why I've been taking it these past few days. We've got one, two, three, four straight green candles. Notice that we had that huge, huge, huge shift in selling pressure. Notice we went from a large sell-off right here at this big chunk when the whole market was selling off to kind of a slowdown, a little bit of a little bit of a cup kind of action, and then immediately hopping out of the oversold. We sat there for maybe a week and immediately shifted into the green. We have a neutral RSI, crossover on the MACD line, and we start ripping upwards. So my main profit target, I want to take profit at about 530 on these contracts. And so I'm holding these 515s until it hits maybe 525, 527 before I start considering taking this position off the table. As of right now, Costco is actually setting up as a bull flag, so I might even re-enter it soon. But uh, main reason why I took this contract was that we had this crossover right in the like right in the morning. This thing gapped up. It actually pushed straight to 514 at open and then pulled right back down. I said I was going to wait the first five minutes because it's a little. Uh, a little shoddy in terms of the uh, premiums. So I waited, I entered on the nine, uh, nine day moving average and I held it up until 5, uh, 515.6. It pulled back and I paper handed at 514. I sold my contracts at an average of 7.85 off of my buy-in at seven. I had two contracts I sized up. Uh, main reason why I'm sizing up was because of my uh, confidence on this plate. So I sized up to two contracts. It cost me $1,400 in the confines of my challenge rules. And so I entered that and I paper handed at the 20 SMA and you, what do you know? The thing rips right back up. It's 516, the contracts were worth like 8.5 instead of where I sold at 7.85, which is a little annoying, but it happens. Uh, I might end up re-entering this thing in a little bit. Only thing that I'm scared of right now is this possible reversal that we have right now at 515.6. But if this thing ends up pushing a bull flag, I will probably re-enter off of this nine day moving average and I'll likely hold for the day. I think Costco as of right now is a great setup, except my only problem is that SPY is not doing too hot right now. SPY is currently on a downturn and I would prefer for this thing to maybe bounce, but it appears not. Meanwhile, Google had their news about their stock split and they are currently pushing although they are giving back quite a bit of their profit. I think this might be the catalyst that kind of continues this market going higher. I think the sell-offs may be a little too... Uh, I, I think this sell-off is mainly just people taking profit. I think overall the fundamental shifted of, hey, we have a tech stock that might set the precedent for others. So whether it be something like Netflix or something that may follow or say... I'm not going to say it actually because I don't think it'll happen, but who knows? Maybe we see an Amazon split happen at some point. I think Amazon's been 100% sold way too much, and I think Amazon is way undervalued considering what the company is. As of right now, we're sitting on 200 SMA. We actually bounced a little bit, which is pretty nice. But overall, I think that we are definitely oversold in terms of uh, Amazon. I think we have a ways to go for them to be at a value that I think is worth it. But... For right now, I'm going to sit on my hands on that. I do want to take Costco shortly, though. I think Costco's bull flag makes this thing at least retest the 516 mark. But preferably, I'd like this thing to touch 520 by the end of the day. It's all really dependent on whether or not SPY holds or not. I think it will, but we'll see. Uh, as for the challenge, I have my spreadsheet right here. That is so bright. <laughs> uh, so these are my recent trades we're currently sitting at $3,800 so we're almost at the 4k mark we are picking up a little bit of steam I'm pretty excited because I'm going to start sizing up a little bit more so as of right now we're at 3859 uh, five, it's more like 3800 because of all the commissions that I've been paying but as you can see right here I even put my little note 
Uh, I entered Costco on the gap up, meant to take profit at 515 or nine per contract. I actually didn't even get a chance to sell a uh, nine per contract because uh, it didn't come first, but I paper handed on the sell off and it bounced on 20 SMA after it rejected uh, 516. Uh, overall, plan went pretty swimmingly. I locked in profit, which is all that matters. It was a 12% win. I entered the 515C, two of them at seven, sold at 785. Overall, not bad. I'm pretty excited about uh, the way that these next couple of days come out because I think that Costco has a huge recovery set up right now. I think we see a V-shaped thing. Even possibly we hit 528, we pull back a little bit, and then we uh, inverse head shoulders to all-time highs again at some point. You know, Who knows? Uh, as long as we have this market kind of trending the way it is, I think we broke downtrend in terms of like SPY, so I think we might head up higher. Anyways, I will probably end up taking a long Costco contract as soon as I turn all this camera off because I think that this thing continues going higher. That said, I appreciate you all for tuning in. There is a special discount code for the Arts Trading Masterclass in the description below, along with my other socials. Feel free to subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.